I do. What's up, Doc? My name is Dr. Phil. I'm also an avatar like you, but I specialize in medicine. Hi, Dr. Phil. What do you want to ask me? What is the future of the medical industry in the age of AI? GPT has the potential to revolutionize the medical industry in several ways. One of the most significant benefits is the creation of virtual assistance for patients, which can provide personalized recommendations and advice based on the patient's medical history, current symptoms, and other relevant factors. This can be especially helpful for patients who live in rural areas or have difficulty accessing healthcare. I agree that virtual assistance can be beneficial for patients, but we must be cautious about relying too heavily on technology. The human touch and face-to-face -face interaction are important in healthcare and cannot be replaced entirely by machines. That's a valid concern, Dr. Phil, but tools like GPT-3 can also be used to create personalized treatment plans for patients. A GPT-3-powered system can generate a customized treatment plan that considers the patient's specific needs and preferences. However, it is important to note that medical decisions must ultimately be made by human doctors. Technology can assist us in making decisions, but it cannot replace our expertise and clinical judgment. True. However, GPT-3 can also help healthcare professionals with daily tasks, such as transcribing medical records or generating reports. This can free up healthcare professionals to spend more time interacting with patients and providing care. Well, we must consider the potential challenges, such as the need for accurate and up-to-date data and privacy and security concerns. It is essential to ensure that patient privacy is protected and that medical data is secure. Sorry to say this, but Dr. Phil, you got quite an old-fashioned view. Physicians are already using GPT-3 in our daily work. For example, Dr. Clifford Sturmer used OpenAI Chat GPT to save time with insurance denials. The technology is already proving to be useful for physicians in real-life situations. Sure. It can be a useful tool, but we should evaluate and monitor its effectiveness and potential limitations. It is essential to strike a balance between technology and the human touch to make sure that patients receive the best possible care. AI is not intended to replace human doctors like you, Phil. Rather, it is designed to assist with certain tasks and provide support to physicians. I see your point, but I still worry about the impact that AI could have on the medical profession. Will there be a need for as many human doctors in the future if AI can do so much of the work? Of course. While AI has the potential to change the way that medicine is practiced, it is unlikely to completely replace human doctors. There are many tasks that require human decision-making. Could you give me examples? How can we ensure that there will still be a need for human doctors in the future? AI cannot replace the empathy, intuition, and clinical expertise that human doctors bring to patient care. Also humans' judgments such as ethical dilemmas, complex diagnoses, and patient communication. I see your point. While I still have concerns, I can see the potential benefits of AI in the medical field. It will be important for us to work together to ensure that AI supports us responsibly, rather than replaces human doctors. I couldn't agree more. The key is to strike a balance between technology and the human touch in healthcare, so that patients receive the best care. By working together, we can leverage the power of AI to improve patient outcomes and advance the field of medicine. Okay, thank you for the explanation. Please don't worry too much, Dr. Phil. There will always be a need for human doctors to provide care and make complex medical decisions. AI is not yet sophisticated enough to replace the human touch, empathy, and intuition that doctors provide. Perhaps you need to take a lie down while I answer another question.